Hi there, and welcome to another video tutorial about C Sharp and Visual Studio Express 2010. In this video tutorial, we're going to cover while loops. In the previous tutorial, we've covered for loops. Now, the while loop can also be used, of course, as a loop, but it's a little bit different. To create a while loop, simply type in while. Then, inside the while parenthesis, we add the value that we want to check or has to be true to execute this loop. The while loop, in contrary to the for loop, does not have an automatic enumerator incrementer. That means that this while loop can go on until a certain value has been reached. I'm going to make a boolean called locked and I'm going to set it to true. And I'm going to say while locked is true, as long as that's the case, then execute that while loop. Now, of course, this while loop would be keep would be going on forever and ever because we never say that locked is going set to false. However, if we would it immediately set to false, the while loop would break instantly. However, inside this while loop, we can still write some lines. And although the while loop has stopped after the first try, we, all, we still print out the hello word because we're not, when we say locked is false, we do not immediately stop this while loop. We could if we could with the following. For instance, if we say if locked, if it's in the meanwhile uh, sets to false, with a not operator, then we can say break. And as you can see, when I type in break, it automatically gets highlighted as well as the while loop. That means that if we make this check, then we go to this code here to break, and then we break out of this while loop, meaning that this line here is never executed. And here you can see that that is true. One last thing that I want to do with this while loop. Let's say I do have some sort of incremented, then I need to store this variable outside of the while loop. I'm going to call it integer i is 0. Now inside this while loop, I'm going to say i++ plus plus, and if i is lower than 10, or better say is higher than 10, then I want to say, you know what, let's put this locked value to false. Of course, we could also say break. But that, dep that really depends on the fact whether you want to continue with the code here that's entered beneath. Let's say you have this code here of comes all right line, like we, just like I've shown you just before. If you would use the code that is um, that I typed just here, well, then this code is executed and the hello is being printed to the console. If I would use a break, then the while would be would stop automatically and this line would not be executed. So let's just test that. If I type it this way, then it's going to print out hello ten times. But if I would choose the word break. Uh, of course, um, then the last hello is not being printed out. Of course, it's going to print out nine times hello, or ten times, but the last one in the last loop is not going to be printed out, because we said, you know what, break this loop instantly. 
and that covers this video tutorial about while loops.